Alrighty guys, welcome to your third tutorial and now that we have the basic framework of the footer set up, I want to show you guys how to achieve this glass effect. This transparent, awesome looking glass. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a border to the top of this footer. Now if you're saying, okay, why do you want to add a border to the top of this? Well, I'm going to be adding a one pixel border and I know that you guys probably can't see it because, you know, um, it's very subtle, but it's always good to add a border to the top of this footer because if you don't, it's going to look like it's blending in with the background. And you kind of want this to pop out so the user knows, okay, I have a footer, this is where all my buttons and navigation is right down here. So like I said, the first part of the glass effect is add a border to the top so your footer pops out more. So border top, and we're just going to make it one pixel solid and since this is CSS3 I'm gonna be working mostly with RGB a color so RGB which is of course your standard red green blue your a which is in CSS3 which is alpha basically means the transparency of it so red green blue colors 0 0 0 of course for those values you have anything from 0 to 255 and for your last one alpha I know most of you guys probably know this already but for those who don't you can have any value in here from 0, 0.0, 0 to 1.0 now what 0, 0.0 means is it's totally transparent you can see right through it what 1.0 means is it's completely opaque so this would be you know solid black solid red not transparent at all like we have right here so in order to get any kind of transparency, and by the way, 0 0.5 would mean 50% transparent. You can see through it, 50%. What I want to do is I want to add 0 0.3. So that's basically uh, what I'm saying. I'm going to make a solid one pixel border that's very subtle, and it's going to be z basically almost more transparent than not so that's what RGBA means and uh, you know just explain it to all the beginners now the next thing I want to do is I want to add an overall background for this border so background equals RGBA let me just go ahead and copy this now I like to set this at 0 0.25 now again, this is the overall background right here. So right now what we have is a black semi-transparent footer. That's it. But we don't have this shine on top or if you notice it gets kind of darker and fades up kind of like a glossy button. We don't have any of those features yet. So if we added this right now, it would basically just look like a transparency without the gloss. So if you're wondering, but Bucky, how do you get this nice white shine on top? It looks like a light shining down on it, kind of glowing and gleaming like glass. Well, for that, what you need to do is you need to add this feature. Box shadow. Make sure I spell that right. Now, there are two different types of shadows that you can use whenever you work with CSS3. The ones you're going to be familiar with, more often than not, is kind of the shadows that are on this you know notification um, kind of like you are shining a light on an object and then it creates a shadow you know most of the time that's what you uh, work with great I messed everything up now that's what you're going to be working with whenever you're adding shadows to CSS3 elements but there's another type of shadow that I'm going to talk to you guys about and that's inset now what inset means is that instead of the shadow being on the outside of the element, it's actually an inner shadow. So in other words, if we had an outer shadow, then it may appear out here. But when we have an inner shadow, check this out. This white gloss right here is actually an inner shadow. How freaking sweet is that? So it's kind of like hacking CSS to make really cool crap. That's how I like to look at it at least. So what we're going to do is we're going to be making several different shadows because it doesn't just take one white shadow on top. You need multiple shadows and when they intertwine together it gives you an awesome sweet effect. So inset 0, 1 pixel, 
RGBA. And for the first shadow, I'm going to have 255, 255, 255, which is white. And for the opacity, I'm going to set it at 0 0.3.